What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Tim and Jerry's Sports Talk. Listen, we get right into it. I heard today that um, Carson Wentz may be cut. Um, he may be traded away from the Colts because the GM said he's not making no promises on who went asked about the quarterback position as far as Wentz goes. He's not making no promises of anybody staying here. It's the way he put it, I guess, or phrased it, or I'm paraphrasing. But let's get into it. Should the Washington, whatever our name is going to be, should we go out there and bring Carson Wentz in for one year rental, for a one year bridge, still draft the quarterback in the first round, preferably Desmond Ritter, Sam Howe, and bring in Carson Wentz for a one year bridge? My answer is yes. Yes, if they cut Wentz, I'm only gonna be speaking on the cover. If we if for a trade, I trade probably a second for Wentz. But let's say they cut him, which is highly possible. I'm giving Wentz a one year deal. This is how it benefits both sides. If I bring Carson Wentz in in Washington, we're immediately an eleven win team. Immediately, especially with the schedule that's coming that we have, we're an immediate seven, eleven win team. Carson Wentz has never had a receiver of Terry McLaurin's caliber. Michael Pittman is a number two receiver. Not to mention Indianapolis Colts finished nine and eight. Not only that, they was injured for the latter part of the year on offense as well. But we also know their offensive line was injured. Their defense is not as talented as ours. They don't have the kind of talent we have on offense. So you would be dropping Wentz behind the top ten online. Top five receiver in my opinion are Terry McLaurin, Curtis Samuel, Logan Thomas, Antonio Gibson. And possibly bring it back J.D. McKissick and go and get number two. You're going to add pieces. You drop Carson Wentz down on this team. We're a double-digit win team. We go to the playoffs in one year. What that helps you do is you immediately automatically give the team's new name a new reputation for winning. That's your first winning season. You start yourself off on the right track. Now it's like, okay, this name, the Washington football team and the Redskins, both names have been losers. That's what we've been in those two names. But you get a chance to start off right going into the new name with a double-digit win team and you a player. Not to say we might not do nothing in the playoffs, but let's say you just make it. You got double-digit win. You started off with the name right. And then for Wentz, this benefits him in the sense that I'm auditioning for other teams. So we don't have to bring Wentz back. You give him a one-year prove it, he auditioning for other teams. It's a win-win for both sides. That's how I'm looking at it. I'm not saying, okay, Wentz balls out, we give him a big contract. No, I'm saying he balls out. You thinking about you think about it, but you also go let him hit the market. But for me, I'm so when when like I said, you drop Wentz on this team, he's going to have a good year. <clears throat> We're going to be a double digit win team with Wentz for sure. And I got me a rookie sitting. Oh, I'm good. And then guess what? I let Wentz walk, and I got that that rookie over there on a um on a what on a five year deal, rookie deal. I'm good. And guess what? I already started off fresh. So now my team back winning. They back to where they were supposed to be a year ago. With the trajectory how we was. We should have been uh had a uh above five hundred record this year, but we did. But you move into the new name. As you moved into the new name, guess what? Okay, we got we got eleven a uh, finally finally a double digit win season. Finally. Start off right, you let wins walk, you bring that rookie into that. Now, guess what? You ready to rock and roll. That's the rookie second year, whatever. You ready to rock and roll. You made the playoffs. You ready to rock and roll. Rama, Vera, then the climate of Washington starts to look a better way. Better way. Rama, Vera is perceived better. I believe Carson Wentz coming here is a win-win for both sides. Both sides. I'll give him that one-year 10 Ryan Fitzpatrick had. I'll even give him some incentives. One year, like Tim said, one year 15 maybe. Give him some incentives. You got to play X amount of games. And you got to perform X amount of times. And you can't turn the ball over. You could, you If you go over this mount, guess what? We did Put that joint in the sense. I'm trying to tell you. If Carson Wentz gets cut, I want Carson Wentz on his team as a bridge. Uh, and I want to draft Ritter in the first round. That's what I want to do. Because it's only beneficial. I'm looking for the total trajectory of him being here. Meaning what it could mean for the new name. For the culture is built because you immediately come in when 11 games make the playoff. The culture's changed. Once the name comes, that's a new fresh, new start. It's already a new culture. You're no longer thinking about the Washington football team and all the allegations that they had. The Redskins and all the allegations they had. The new name has no allegations. So you come in there, the culture already starts fresh. We don't got to worry about that no more. 
because the culture is fresh because of the name. Now that the name's there, you win it. Got a double digit team. Now the culture is just changing drastic, drastic, drastically. Then you bring in that rookie. Now the climate of Washington is excited because it's like, now we got something great and fantastic to look forward to after this 11 double digit with season. Carson Wentz coming here can only mean a win win on both sides. It's a win win. And personally, you bring in Carson. Carson Wentz is highly talented. The only problem is he makes too many mistakes at times. But I believe he comes here. You got a lot of weapons across the board for yourself. You got Terry. It's very little room for error when you have him. Just throw it up in triple coverage. He'll go make something happen. But just saying, Carson Wentz coming here makes a ton of sense for that. A one-year bridge, a one-year rental, it means a lot. Some people may say, well, how does that benefit us? Why we pay? Because you're going to end up paying Trubisky anyway. So who would you want as a bridge? Trubisky or Carson Wentz? Exactly. You bring in Wentz. You're a double-digit win team. He's talented as crap. You got, uh, hopefully, the defense performs the way they're supposed to perform. You got a bet, the best offense he's ever had played with, the best receiver he's ever going to play with. Logan Tom, way more weapons than he had with the Colts. You bring him here, still draft the quarterback in the first, and you do everything you need to do, and everything's mapped out. You still keep your draft capital. Everything's mapped out it's supposed to be. Everything's going ahead of schedule. Carson Wentz plays to perform well. Guess what? He's going to another team, getting him a new deal. Win, 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 win. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know y'all think the comments. Get y'all later.